Hello friends, I hope you are well. In this video, I will explain how to move a token from one blockchain to another. I will also explain why we sometimes have to do that. What are the pros and cons in doing such thing? So um, I will take an example with the XDAI blockchain and the main Ethereum blockchain. So I have opened my MetaMask. Okay, so MetaMask, if you don't have it, you can uh, just uh, subscribe, it's, it's free. So, and then you will have your, uh, your, uh, your wallet where you can store your token. So I switch from one network to another, from one blockchain to another. So I switch to uh, the, the uh, Ethereum mainnet, which is the, the quite, uh, quite famous and common one. And then I can see uh, which token I have. So for example, here I have some Ethereum. Uh, I have some USDC, this is a stablecoin USD, and I have some PAX Gold, which is uh, basically uh, gold, okay, tokenized gold. So I have those tokens under my, uh, my wallet in the uh, blockchain mainnet, okay, in the Ethereum mainnet. But I also have uh, the XDAI blockchain, I have also other blockchain, but let's take this one. And under the XDAI blockchain, I also have USDC. I also have the stablecoin USD. So why so? Why so is because I receive some uh, rent in USDC in the XDAI blockchain. And I choose to receive it because uh, I don't want to receive them on the mainnet blockchain because the Ethereum mainnet blockchain has very high, especially recently, very high gas fees. If you are on the Ethereum, you know what I mean. So it means the, the, the transaction fees, every time something happens on a smart contract, then it costs a lot of money in the uh, Ethereum main. Uh, so for example, uh, if you, I don't know, like uh, you make a t any transaction, it will cost you like uh, maybe uh, 30 uh, US dollar just to make a transaction. And the same transaction in the XDAI blockchain will cost you less than one dollar, maybe a few cents. So you may want, you may want to use sometimes one blockchain, sometimes another. You may want to, to switch from one blockchain to another, but you already, you already have some um, some money, some token stored in one blockchain, and you may want to transfer them, to move them to another blockchain. So I took the example of the XDAI, of the XDAI and the mainnet, but I could have taken the example of the Binance uh, blockchain or, or any other, you know. So how to do that? Because those tokens are the same. The USDC on the mainnet and the USDC on the XDAI are exactly the same contract. They are just in two different networks that are completely separated, two different blockchain. So how can we bridge from one blockchain to another? So basically, there are some... Uh, so usually you go to the blockchain uh, website and they will explain you, say, how to transfer from this blockchain to another. So, so I did it for the, um, for the XDAI. And then uh, they recommend, you see, uh, I mean, on the XDAI chain, and they recommend to use this Omni Bridge. So Omni Bridge is a bridge between two universes, uh, the Ethereum universe and the XDAI. But actually, not only uh, they make bridge uh, from uh, other blockchain, for example, uh, Binance blockchain to XDAI, POA from to XDAI, Ethereum to Binance, etc., etc. So they are bridge. They are communication. We can transfer the same token from one bl blockchain to another. So let's see how it works. So I connect. So here uh, you have to choose which wallet. So me, I choose MetaMask. Okay, because my wallet is on MetaMask. So I connect. So Omni Bridge to MetaMask. Now you see here at the top, I have the my. Uh, my uh, public key. So this is my address, my wallet address here. So I know it's connected. And I have the name of the, of the, of the um, blockchain, which is the mainnet, the Ethereum blockchain. And here you see that the transfer is from Ethereum mainnet to XDAI, okay? And you have to choose a coin. So by default here, it's cho uh, they choose the USD coin. And you can see that I have 180 
USD coin on the mainnet and have 0.22, so 22 cents on the XDAI. So I have a certain amount and then I choose how much amount, how much I want to transfer. So for example, I just write five. And when you do that, you have first, before you can transfer, you see it's gray, I cannot select it. You have to unlock it first, unlock your token. Okay, so, they so that they could be transferred. And you can see that once it's transferred, the five on the mainnet will arrive as a five on the, on the XDAI. Okay, so then I click on unlock. But unlocking is an operation by itself. So there is an, there is an operation to be done on the blockchain mainnet. Okay, and this has a cost. So the cost, the gas, called the gas, and the cost is very variable. You see, it just changed. I, I did it like a few minutes ago, it was $40, and now it's 27 Maybe later it's 100 okay? So to exchange like five, do five USD coin, it will cost me like $25, right? Okay, so of course I will not do it, okay? So I reject. I reject the operation, and you can see here the confirmation that it has been rejected, okay? So now let's say, okay, I want to see, maybe I transfer more, I want to transfer the, almost the full amount, like $180 USD, USD, okay, and let's see the gas fees. Maybe the gas fees is, uh, is higher, and actually no, it's not. It's still 27, because whatever you transfer, like one, uh, one dollar, one USDC, or 180 USDC, or maybe one million of USDC, actually the fees, the gas fees are the same. It doesn't depend on the amount. That's why then you have to transfer like a bigger amount so that it represents like a smaller percentage of the amount you, you, you transfer. But still, for 180, I will not spend $27. I mean, I will transfer maybe uh, at 1,000, 2,000, 10,000, and then I pay $27. Fair enough. It's big, but fair, but fair enough. If I do the same from the uh, other side, you know, like, so I reject, I will try to do the same, by, but this time, I do it from the XDAI to the Ethereum, okay? So I switch network, and you can see that on the left side, now I have the XDAI, and on the right side, I have, I have the Ethereum mainnet, okay? And I want to transfer, I don't have much, you know, but I, I just transfer, like, the 0 0.2, okay? And then here, you see, can see first that uh, I don't have to unlock, so I just request, and it will tell me that actually, there is a gas fee, there are a few operations. The first operation is, uh, is on the XDAI blockchain, and the second operation is on the, on the mainnet. So I continue, and you see that the cost, you mean it's uh, approximately zero point, it's, it's like very, very, very small. Where, where you have to pay a lot on the mainnet, actually you have to pay a very, very small amount on the XDAI. That's why if you are running like a small business with some friends, or colleagues, or clients, or but and then you, you, you have the choice to transfer, to you have the choice of which uh, blockchain to use, then you may consider, okay, should I use the Ethereum blockchain and have very big gas fees, or should I use the XDAI uh, transfer and have very, very small uh, uh, ga um, transaction fees, or maybe other blockchain like Binance, etc. You may compare the, the, the fees, the cost of usage of the, of the, of the blockchain. So that's, that's quite, quite important, especially if you transfer a lot of small amounts. So if there is a lot of transaction, okay. So I click con continue just to, just to see a little bit. I will, I will cancel anyway. But every time you see it requests a confirmation from Metamask, so it just say that I don't have enough, I don't have enough money to pay, uh, to pay the gas fees. But the gas fees most likely will, be, will still be like 27 or 30 on the Ethereum. Whereas on the on the um, on the XDAI blockchain it will be very small, like just a few cents. So that's a very 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 big difference, and those are exactly the same token, the same contract. You know, USD coin on one side, USD coin on the other side. So, so yeah. So that's it. Uh, that's it, friends. You know, I uh, just wanted to show you that the bridge exists. You can find them. I show you in this video. I show for for XDAI, for Binance, for for um, Ethe for Ethereum mainnet. But if you have like uh, some other exotic uh, blockchain, some bridge may exist. 
just just go to the to the to the website and see how it works most likely it will be a, a screen like that i wish you a very happy day bye bye